the chorus. This is the sound of troubles. One more. 
this. Church, over every life here, 
over every life in the great community of Topor. You're the God of redemption. You're the God of revival. You're the God who can reach even the most lost of soul. You're the God who is unafraid to even walk into the most troubling of circumstances and fill them with your peace and your love and your joy. And we let the God of peace, we let the Prince of Peace take His seat in our hearts this morning. We open the door and we say, Christ, come in. Bring in your peace. Bring in your government. Bring in your sovereignty. We thank you, Lord. We remember this book. How many testimonies there are. God, you only take us in so you can bring us out. You've only ever taken your people into something so you can bring them out as something else in Jesus' name. That's what I read in this book every time I pick it up. He takes us in, but He also brings us out. So we thank You, Jesus, for Your presence, for Your love, for Your unfailing nature. When so much can seem up in the air, you're firmly seated on your throne. We thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. You can grab a seat this morning. Well, welcome to church. What a fabulous morning this morning. And what makes it uh, particularly fabulous is that we are about to water baptize Nikita and Bianca. Oh, come on. So super rad. So proud of you guys, and welcome. I know there's friends and family here this morning, teachers here this morning uh, that are involved in these fabulous girls' lives. So welcome to C3 Farikara Kia, kia ora. Uh, great to have you with us. But in the Gospel of Matthew, there is a piece of Scripture where... Jesus was sitting down. Josh, what's the plan? Are we going to go into pieces or are we going to go straight into spirit move? To Jesus. Spirit move. So he could bless them. And his disciples were taking exception, exception to what was going on. And Jesus said, unless you, you know, approach me or unless you receive me like a little child does, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. We'll just get the Christian guy into his It's a big piece of scripture. We'll hit that one for but what I want to remind us this morning of is as we celebrate these two fabulous young girls getting baptized, let it remind us of the innocence of faith that we have in Christ Jesus. That we have as adults a tendency to overcomplicate things. We have a tendency maybe to make things more difficult than necessary. But this morning, these girls are getting baptized because they love Jesus. They have found Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. They do not have a theology degree. They probably haven't read the Bible cover to cover. Doesn't matter. They have come to Jesus in this morning yeah. as they get water now? baptized. They're getting baptized yeah. into the kingdom of heaven. And Go may on, that, as adults and even young people watching on, may that fan again the flame the uh, in our hearts of those that moment, maybe when we were a child or, or as an adult, when we just found Jesus and we're like, Jesus. And Two, this is so three, fabulous, and, and it is going to be tremendous. So, girls, four, Nikita, Nikita and Bianca, and if you your friends or family and you want to, to uh, you know, gather near, you're more than welcome to. But myself nice. and Ryan, we're going to baptize you too. So, oh, let's all it too. Let's all stand together. On oh, the, the the band's going to be led us. We're going to worship. Uh, Anyone would think it was my first time, eh? <laughs> Pretty much every Sunday. Spirit of living God, Spirit of 
We want to know you more and more Hanging on every word Spirit of the living God
Ferguson. You took me by the head. You marched me out in freedom into the promised land. Now I will not forget you, Lord. I'll sing of all you've done. And death is swallowed up forever by the fury of your love. Father, we're so captivated by that line. Swallowed up forever by the fury of your love. And Lord, in your love is all sorts of emotions. There's comfort, there's safety, protection, and there's passion that is unrelinquishing. It's uncomprehendable, your love. So Father, we just pray right now for the deep wrapping around of our lives in your love. Not love that we know, not love that is natural to this earth, but that supernatural love. Father, that that is where we would always be in the center of that which is good for us, in the center of your love. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Why don't you have a seat? I don't think we could ever, (laughs) I don't think the poets could ever stop writing of God's love, the mysteries, the wonders, the uncomprehendable love that is of our God. And that's why we can never stop sharing testimonies because His love is, It's so intimate, it's so personal, and it's also never ending. It's never, you can never out experience his love, what he's done for us.